Hey guys, Derek here. Welcome back to the channel or welcome for the first time. If you're new, we are back to watch the season finale of Doctor Who. This one is called Empire of Death. I really enjoyed uh, last week, especially the reveal at the end, um, that it's like an old school uh, classic Who uh, villain, and I'm excited to see where they take it. So before we jump into this, if you end up enjoying my reaction, please leave a like on the video. It means a lot to me. If you're new here, hit subscribe or ring the bell so you're notified when I upload. And then if you want to see the full uncut version of this reaction, consider supporting me on Patreon or joining YouTube memberships. You just sync up your own copy of the show and you can watch along with me. But other than that, let's jump into the season finale of Doctor Who. Oh, she's gonna blow dust on everyone. Don't let the dust touch you. You guys are stupid. He said to leave. Hop on, cowboy. Hell yeah. King, this is the doctor. We're on our way back. Try to contain that thing. <laughs> How? Open fire. All weapons. <laughs> Morris has a gun on his scooter? Rose, what did you do? <laughs> Why can't I see her? Because she's you. And it's, it would disrupt your timeline. Oh, one day. I bring Sutex dust of death. Okay. No! This is me, the Simon. robot died. With thanks and love. And please send this monster back into hell. No! Oh, she, no, she's gonna die? There will be birds. No! Okay, we gotta be fixing this. We can't have Kate Lethbridge Stewart be dying. Can you outrun that dust? This is like 2012. The movie, I mean, not the year. That is a good ass scooter. Yo, Flood Lady, what's your deal? What is it? What's going on? Oh, sorry, Ruby's mom. Do you believe in the power of prayer? Yeah. I most certainly do. Then tell your maker I will come to storm down his gates of gold and seize his kingdom in my true name. Oh, what you talking about? Jeff. <laughs> his true name, Jeff. Sorry, you tiny little woman. I'm so, so sorry. It ends like this. Oh, the dust slowly creeping in. Interesting. Who are you, Miss Flood? You creeper? Mrs. Flood is the master. It is a physical TARDIS. Interesting. So it was it like wasn't just a hologram. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Take that screen. It's made of memories. Ruby, it is feeding off you. Yeah, give it everything you've got, babes. Remember it harder. Yes, yes, yes I can, yes. Okay, yeah. Totally. Yes, yes, that's it. More, 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 more. Solidify it. Oh, it just rings. <laughs> it makes makes the correct sound. Doctor. How? 
Howdy. The greatest monster I have ever fought. Shoot at yourself, don't leave. What is the forest and the other side? The time it has my memories too. Ooh, some shots from Classic Who. I cast you into the time vortex. I sent you. How do you get out? To your own death. I come to your infernal machine, and for so many years, I hid. For all this time, riding the spine of your ship. And now he admires you, and is friends with you. <laughs> Oh, they know how to use it. That's no bueno. And I saw inside the TARDIS so many secrets. I am coming to release them into blessed depths. And I find that good. And I damn you, Sutek! In the name of life itself. Single tier acting school shooty. Nice. I will defeat you. And I will turn back death. And why? Am I still alive? So you can watch. Killing me is your gift. He wants you to see it all. So what is stopping you? Why is the god of death not killing me? Maybe he's not able to. What am I missing? He can't kill time itself. This doubt. Have you ever felt so alive? Oh, what a line. What is it? It's a remember target. Just a little shack of knickknacks. Held together by hopes and wishes and luck. Is that her doctor's outfit? Wait, does this thing work? Can it fly? No idea. <laughs> He's gonna send it. See what happens. Where are we going, though? Away from Earth, apparently. No, 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 we need that. Remember harder. It's just falling apart. Sonic screwdrivers, get a good one. A better one than the one Shooty has. Okay. Look at that Stabilize. Stabilize. I am so sorry. Oh yeah, your mom's dead. Fat rip. We'll save her though, don't worry. Okay, so the the TARDIS has a perception for so it doesn't get noticed, it just sits there kind of unseen because it casts a field around it at 66.7 meters exactly. 73 yards. How'd you know that? She calculated it in her previous life. Funny things happen at 73 yards. Yeah. Yikes. The dust of death. Spreading all over the world. Every time I landed there. 1999. 2005. 2005. The year of the reboot. Venus. Telos, Khan. That's a lot of dead planets. The Udes here. Oh no, not the Udes. Gallifrey? And Skyro. The Daleks are dead. Oh! Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> but there are so many places so you haven't been. If we win, that means they come back. He's been to everywhere. I did this. So I knew what? where you no. have not been? The universe has come to a halt. 
And it is my fault. Because I traveled to all those worlds. There now. I thought it was fun. It was. It was a lot of fun. Should be such a good crier, dude. The universe stands silent in death. Yet one thing persists. Despite me. The time lord. No greater than him. God. The secret of the child. Jesus. <laughs> Okay, interesting. So the the secret she carries is still alive. Excuse me. Who the hell are you? Can you tell me. Where are we? No idea. You're from. You're from Fleabag. All I've got is this chaffy. Do you want some? That's very kind. Only if you have enough. Where did you come from? She's got a spooky looking demeanor. She's a demon. Is that Ruby? Hush now, darling. Let me give the man his chaffy. Ruby's a little one. I think I called her Brindle. Brindle D. I don't think I was born here. Then I met my husband, whatever his name was, Tool. He was tall, I remember that. But it was all a very long time ago. Well, at least you survived. You're either a spooky... The funny thing is... Or you're the doctor's do mom. Or not, perhaps. Over that way. Who are you, lady? Have you got any met? I suppose you do have a very nice face. These two have some sort of connection. What is going on here? Spoon. Is that Peter Capaldi's spoon? I'll forget it in a minute. That's very kind of you. How are you related to the doctor? My daughter died, didn't she? And I forgot. That's sad. I think she did. I'm sorry. Maybe she doesn't have a connection with the doctor. So I really am very tired. Such a nice face. Who are you? Are you the doctor's daughter? Or are you his wife? Well, guess it doesn't matter now. <laughs> Cause you dust. It's what we need. Some metal, not tardis memory, something real. Thank you, whoever you are. She's gonna mean something to him later on. I never understood what was all that Egyptian stuff. Cultural appropriation. <laughs> True. We met Einstein. Did we? Oh no, she's starting to forget things. Oh, you okay? She's gonna turn to dust soon. Sutet became visible outside the church because when he landed with the TARDIS in 2004, he saw the one thing beyond his comprehension. A secret. But who is she? We don't know. And neither does he, that's the point. He needs to know the secret before he kills her. But if gods are scared of them, what the hell does that mean? She's not this big She's cosmic thing. She's a spooky she individual. Case, what am I? Ruby. You're a demigod. Melanie. <clears throat> oh yeah, she's coming for her. Hi. 
You have to go back into that that pocket universe that you created in 73 yards. The DNA testing regime is giving you another answer. But what is it? Pocket dimension, a timeline where you died. It is showing us the way, Ruby. It's showing us the path to your mother. If I can just... What does that mean? Can we find Ruby's mother? Yeah, and what happens if we do? One question at a time. Why aren't you tired anymore, Mel? I see them. Interesting, interesting. Every living thing contains dead cells. That's true. Closer. Their eyes. They have the sharing gun. Twenty forty six. Wow, that's a perfectly placed little hole for the TARDIS. I feel like they used this set in Shadow and Bone. Mel, you better keep watch. This new tech service could be anywhere. And don't take any risks. We're all getting out of this. Find the name. Is he suspicious at all? Submit to. No, Melanie, don't. It's just gonna pull up her own profile. So what do we do now? Press search. You're your own grandma. Who is she? Melanie. Melanie. I see. Fight it, Mel. Fight it. To the will of snow, 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 it is snowing in the future. Which, yeah, I want to see it too. <laughs> Call me Sutek, because I want to see that name. The screen. It found the name. Blow the whistle. But I don't understand. It's her own name. I don't understand. It's her. She's her own mother. Maybe this. What a, what a petty bitch. I love it. Was this a trap? You planned this? I knew. She's too cold. Listen to me. Calling the real TARDIS. Gonna suck you into the vortex of time. Dang. 
like a friggin' jet engine. How are you? How are you using that rope? <laughs> Surely you're not strong enough. I guess they don't need leverage with the fancy magic glove. Into the vortex. Oh, poor puppy dog. <laughs> so, I want to time and space with me, Susan. So I thought, what if you see again? What happens if you bring death to death? You bring life! Yeah. I guess. Interesting. We ripping, we ripping stuff throughout time, bro. Little Morris. Do you guys remember the feeling of dying? Hey, <coughs> Sky. All right, Miss Flood. Clever boy. You're either an old ass Clara Oswald or you're the master. But the use of the word clever boy makes me think you could be Clara. Kate Lethbridge Stewart, date that security officer. <laughs> we bring life to the whole flipping universe! Is that like throughout all of time? Does that mean like everyone who's died lives? <laughs> what about people who are perpetually like one minute away from death? As in Clara Oswald. <laughs> oh, welcome back to Ood. Hell yeah, Ood. Agua Santina. <laughs> Hey, yeah, that lady. And that's a statue of... Is that Sutek? And now... Okay. I must become a monster. And kill Sutek? Okay, so what does that mean? What are you about to do? And that's how you win, Sute. Because you turned me into this. I am the one that brings death. True, yeah, 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 yeah. So the, what is the doctor, the god of death now? That would be a twisty twist. Okay. So we win, we get pizza. But who is Ruby's mom? Anything to help, I don't mind. I'll make the tea. Did you make this tea? I did, yes. Don't make the tea. Oh. <laughs> Savage, brother. You brought all of us back from, well, who knows where. From a dust dimension. Do you remember what happened when you... Hmm. Echoes. Hmm. Memory is time, time is memory. If you have echoes of death, you will bring death back eventually. That's how it's going to return in six years. DNA retrieval 100%.
the hell are you? <laughs> Some rando? Louise Alicia Miller. 35 years old. 15 when she gave birth to you. She's a nurse. She's just a normal-ass person. She's so ordinary. She's wonderful. That's not as fun. How did she stay invisible? From a god, she defeated Zutek. She was important. Because we think she's important. It's how everything happens. Every war, every I religion, guess, every yeah. love story. She has meaning because we attributed it to her. So while the whole of creation was turning around her, it made her sheer existence more powerful than time. People are going to be gods. mad about this. <laughs> A scared little girl making our baby safe. This but is uh, she pointed. This is the sequel trilogy all over again. People have theories, and turns out it's nobody. She was pointing out the name of the road. She was naming you. Sure, okay. <laughs> My name is Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She's happy. She's got a flat, she's got a fella named Mike. She goes to Spain in three weeks. You kind of look like Ruby a little bit. She has had over 7,000 days to come and find you. And, and she, she didn't even try. She doesn't want to see you. With a time machine. Is that fair? Yeah. Louise made her major choices and... You used the resources you had available. I think we should leave her alone. <laughs> Ruby says, F that. <laughs> what if she's a bitch? Like, what if she's one of those people that's just rude? What can I get? Oh, oh, cappuccino, please. You know, we always expect these people to be like, oh, like such a kind, sweet moment. What if she's just a straight up rude person? <laughs> she doesn't tip, you know, she's just the worst kind of individual. Ruby? That's me. I was named after a road. Ruby Road. You left me by a church. <laughs> what if it was her? You left me where I was safe. And I just want to say thank you. I'm sorry. I'm no. so, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but go get your coffee, that barista's just holding it there. Go see your granddaughter, you dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, Ruby. No more traveling for you. You've got some family catching up to do. Ruby. Come out and join. I've told her so much about you. She knows everything. And, hold on, sorry, leave that. <laughs> and, you no, know, I said life the doctor is just mad. Ruby, go, go out, go out there. I think they found him. My dad, William, they think. <laughs> Because it turns out his mum and dad still live at the same address, but she never told him. My mum. My real mum. Ruby, go get out of here. <laughs> Don't be sorry at all. Your life is out there now. I've shown you monsters and planets, legends, but this. This is life. This family. Your adventures just begin here. Will I ever see you again? Of course you Maybe will. Maybe once or twice, yeah. Of course you will. 
It'll be a minute before you do, though. <clears throat> you have made my life bigger and better. And now, Ruby Sunday. I bid thee farewell. Goodbye. Say it back, Doctor. <laughs> Come on, brother. Damn, shoot, he got his signature crying. Damn. Dual tears from a single eye acting school? What master class, Ruby. <laughs> Billy Gibson with a never before seen acting technique. And that's how the story of the church on Ruby Road comes to an end. Okay, Mrs. Flood, why are you speaking right now? With a very happy ending for little Ruby someday. He's on the roof? What are you doing up there? But life goes on, doesn't it? Ruthlessly. Hey, creeper. And what happens, you might wonder? Oh, what happens to that mysterious traveler in time and space known as the Doctor? I'm sorry to say his story ends in absolute terror. Yeah, okay. We know that. Night, night. Who the F are you? <laughs> Who the frick are you, Mrs. Flood? Like, that's pissing me off. <laughs> I need to know that mystery uh, because it's going to be eaten away at me for so long. Um, okay, first initial thoughts. I will say I really enjoyed the episode as a whole, like the battle against Sutek and how they defeat Sutek and all that was really, really good. Really enjoyed that. What I didn't like... <laughs> Which I, I, the reveal of Ruby's mom was stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry that like everything else, everything else in the, in the episode was great. It was fantastic. Except for the reveal of Ruby's mom. Like, I don't know. Like, it's kind of a bummer. To just make her a regular ass person. I mean, I did cry at their like reunion in that coffee shop where the, she's like telling her who she is, and there's like the realization on her face of like, oh my god, this is my daughter that I abandoned. And they like come together and they're gonna have like a loving relationship going forward. Like, that's nice. I just don't like, I don't love <laughs> that it's just some rando. Like, I don't know. I feel very similar, I guess, maybe to like how people wa uh, felt when they watched like the sequel trilogy of Star Wars, where they they had all these theories about who like Ray's parents are, and then um, Kylo was like, "They're no one," <laughs> and it's like, okay. Um, but in this, I don't know. It just like that reveal was a bummer. <laughs> Like, I wanted her to be someone cool, especially because there's, like, various moments, like, in the episode or throughout the season that, like, make her seem more significant. And it and it's not just, like, regular thing. Like, what 15-year-old is wearing some black cloak <laughs> to, to drop their baby off and then pointing dramatically at a street sign? <laughs> like, that's... Like, the, the explanation of how Ruby was named or whatever, when when they're like, oh, she was, point, she was pointing at a, a, a lamppost, the street sign. She was naming you. I was like, what? <laughs> Straight up, during the rush, I was like, okay, like, sure. Like, that, sometimes Russell T. Davies writes things that are really, really great, like, the majority of the time. And then every once in a while, he writes something that is just stupid. <laughs> like that, that whole part of like, you know, she was naming you. Like it turns out the the people that um, picked her up at the church just also happened to have the same idea as her mom. And I don't know. 
it, like they treated the mom as like this incredibly mysterious character like like somehow death itself cannot find the identity of this woman and then it turns out to be just a regular ass lady <laughs> like that that part of the thing didn't live up to my expectations honestly um i i kind of wish they wouldn't have made it like a big deal throughout the season then if they were gonna if in the end they were just gonna be like yeah it's just a, a, a regular person like they shouldn't have made it <laughs> like that whole storyline kind of gets soured in my opinion um like they had such fun, cool moments and dramatic moments throughout the season centered around that. Like, why can Ruby make it snow? Like, why? Like, what is? Why is the? Why is the mystery so powerful that it like affects the atmosphere through time? If it's just a regular person, <laughs> like, I don't know. I thought that was. I thought that particular aspect of the finale was stupid and didn't land at all. Like, again, I enjoyed the emotional aspect of them coming together and their reunion, but from the, you know, mystery aspect of, you know, who could it be, um, I, I think they completely fumbled the ball on that one. Like, that was, that's rough. That, that's, a, in my opinion, a, a stupid, a stupid uh, reveal. And it also feels way different than... Um, then I, I brought up the sequels and how like people must have felt really disappointed um, finding out that Ruby's or that uh, Ray's parents are nobodies. But when I watched the sequels, it, it always felt clear that Kylo was definitely lying to Ray, right? Like <laughs> he he was trying to get under her skin and trying to convince her of something, and that's why he was like, "They're nobodies. Like travel travel the galaxy with me instead. Join my side." Um, this it didn't feel like like they're lying and there's more to her mom than we don't that we don't know it feels like they straight up were just like oh yeah she is just a regular person and yeah i don't know i mean i like i like that it kind of provides the doctor a little bit of initiative to maybe go see susan um but other than that like that reveal sucked <laughs> <laughs> it was straight up stupid. But everything else, everything else in the episode, I thought was great. Uh, you know, the the god Sutek, the god of death, coming back, essentially killing everybody, like wiping out all of human existence, uh, was awesome. I thought that was dope. You know, the whole sequence of of that happening, the doctor's exclamatory cries at the end. Um, you know, we got some, some potential mysteries as well, unless they're not mysteries and it was just meant to be like this kind of sen cute sentimental scene of like him meeting some random person, uh, on a planet whose daughter had died and they forgot and they give the doctor a spoon and they like make a big deal of it. And it just like felt very, it felt like it had importance that we're not going to learn about yet. Um, but I enjoyed that. Like, I thought that was cool. Um, you know, the moments where Mel is like fighting Sutek's influence, I thought that was well done. And, um, you know, the, like the, the fact that Sutek, the only reason that he's letting the doctor and Ruby live up to this point is because he himself is, is curious about the, the the reveal of Ruby's mom like that's the one secret he can't find out um which is also interesting because they made a point to say that like every person and every every individual has dead cells and like they can like he can access individuals DNA and like like see through them like i feel like if if he can do that sutek probably would have been able to figure out ruby's mom without the doctor <laughs> like i don't i don't know they like they just tied all that in and the and then the fact yeah then they you couple in the fact that she's just a regular person and she's not like someone special or crazy that aspect of the sutek plan feels a little you know, plot holy, but, um, yeah, otherwise, like, I, I liked, you know, 
the doctor's plan of being like, you know, you saw you saw uh, all of time once. Let's show it to you again. <laughs> if it didn't work the first time, uh, let's give it another shot. And they drag Sutek through the time vortex one more time. And it only works because um, Sutek had brought death to the entire timeline, right? And now that they bring him through again, he's bringing death to death, which then brings life, <laughs> theoretically. Uh, I'm curious to see like how that will affect things going forward. You know, how does that... How does that affect like all the people, all the people that just died, like regular ways, <laughs> during those time periods? Like, like, are they bringing death, or bringing life back to just the people that Sutek dusted in those times, or is or are they straight up like bringing people back to life? Because because that, that, what they did could have far-reaching complications to time itself. <laughs> <laughs> like people that are dead just like rising from their graves you know individuals who may be perpetually running from death one moment away from death a la clara oswald like does that um does that save her like what is what is the the moment there because freaking mrs flood she has she her outfit is like an outfit that clara oswald wore um, during her run as the companion. And then when they get brought back, she's like, that clever boy. And that is a freaking thing that Clara Oswald said constantly in her run as the companion. Like, she said, you know, run, you clever boy, and remember. Uh, like, what does Miss, Miss Flood have some connection to Clara? Or is she the master? Or, like, what is going on? Because, like, right before she dusted, she was like, I had such plans. And it's like, What? <laughs> Like, what do you mean? You need to tell me more info. Um, like, there's there's shenanigans afoot, and I'm curious to see, like, how, how bringing death to death <laughs> throughout the entire timeline may have just monumentally effed things up. <laughs> like, I don't know if the doctor really thought that through. Um, but then, yeah, and then he releases Sutek. Like, he just lets him go. And does Sutek like disintegrates or something? Does that mean? I'm curious what that means as well because like the doctor was like, I bring death. Like, does that mean the doctor is the new god of death? Is that what that was signifying? And that's why Sutek like disintegrated because if like some if someone else is the new god of death, like what is Sutek's purpose? He like ceases to exist, right? Um, and so now the doctor brings death wherever he goes. Like, I don't know. That's something that's been, um, like, talked about from the beginning of New Who is, uh, you know, Rose is talking to some conspiracy theorist guy in, like, episode one of New Who in 2005. And, and he's like, the doctor has one constant companion, death. And turns out, <laughs> he was right <laughs> um but then like throughout the throughout the run of new who initially you're constantly having having people be like the doctor brings death with him he is the oncoming storm like things like that and then and then turns out the doctor literally if if my theory is correct the doctor literally becomes the new god of death <laughs> which would be, I might be thinking way too far into that, but it's a possibility. I don't know. Overall, I liked the episode, but felt let down by certain reveals, but I don't know. Uh, definitely let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. I'm very curious to see how you guys feel. Um, otherwise, if you enjoyed my reaction, please leave a like on the video. It means a lot to me. If you're new here, hit subscribe, ring the bell so you're notified when I upload. And then if you want to see the full uncut version of this reaction, consider supporting me on Patreon or joining YouTube memberships. You just sync up your own copy of the show and you can watch along with me. But other than that, that's all I got to say. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.